No, of course not. She is just devastated about all of this. We're in this DeBerry, Deltona area where every year on the anniversary of her daughter and grandchildren's murder, she and loved ones release balloons. This is very near where the family lived in Deltona. Ms. Nieves thinks her son is confused out there somewhere and that he is searching for the bodies of his sisters and niece and nephew. I wish I can just throw in my bed and just lay there and let go, but again, I can. If I don't do it, who's going to do it? Felicita Nieves has faced more than her share of tragedy. Her daughter, Jacinia Suarez, and grandchildren Talia and Michael were murdered in their Deltona home by Suarez's husband, Luis Toledo, in 2013. Toledo serving life in prison and has refused to tell anyone where he buried the bodies. Now, Felicita's only son, Jonathan Suarez Nieves, is missing. Jonathan left the DeBerry home he shares with his wife and child Sunday. Now he's like on a mission, like if he wanted to find his sister and his nephew, his niece. Felicita and Jonathan's wife, Jasmine, say Jonathan was anxious, depressed, not himself, in the days leading up to his disappearance. They say he never publicly grieved over his sister and the children's murders. He's very quiet about it. I just think it's kind of eaten him up, and um, now he's kind of like, I need to find my sister. Jonathan was apparently involved in a fender bender at an I-4 rest stop shortly after leaving home. Then, loved ones believe he wound up in a popka crashing into someone's fire pit. His mother thinks this ring doorbell video from that area might be of Jonathan. His truck was found, wallet, and other belongings inside, but no sign of him. I just want him to come home. I, I want him to know he's loved and we're here for him. Just come home, Jonathan. Call me at least. Send me a text. If you want the space, we'll give him the space. If anybody knows anything out there. Obviously, if anyone knows anything, they're asked to call 911. Now, loved ones have been handing out those flyers in Seminole County where that first fender bender occurred in Apopka. And in today, they got a notice of a possible sighting in Altamont Springs, so they went over there with the flyers as well. They just want Jonathan found safe and found soon. In Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News.